Dennis here again. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to jazz up some holiday classics, songs that we've, we've all heard, uh, I don't know, 100 times, 200 times <laughs> every year. But they put us in the, uh, in the mood for the holidays. It's good to hear them again. And uh, so we're going we're gonna to jazz them up. But keep in mind that, um, first of all, we're not talking hardcore, very advanced jazz, but and a, lo- and a lot of these um, ideas... And they're, they're, they're chord substitutions or um, chord extensions. A lot of these ideas can be applied to lots of other songs as well. So not just these, these holiday tunes that we're going to go through. So that was uh, Steve Eaton's arrangement of Jingle Bells. And um, he, he sings it. And I wasn't able to find that, uh, that version on YouTube by Steve Eaton. When you, when you search YouTube for Steve Eaton... Uh, I think a, uh, a different Steve Eaton comes up. So anyhow, thanks to Steve Eaton for that, that nice arrangement. And let's talk, uh, talk about that briefly. Uh, one way you can jazz up uh, Christmas songs is to turn regular major chords into dominant chords. So he does that on Jingle Bells where when it goes to the chorus. He's playing it instead of a G, a G, a G <laughs> chord. Whatever, yeah, I messed it up, but so he takes that uh, and makes it into a, a rich uh, dominant chord. In the left hand, um, you got the seven, the third, and the thirteen. The right hand just plays B, E, G, and B again. Then he goes up a half step. This voicing. This is a, a D flat dominant chord, but um, the left hand is playing the, the third, the seven, and the, uh, the nine, and the right hand is playing a D flat triad, A flat, D flat, F. Right. That's a second inversion. So, so it goes. Uh, or a C over D. And that little, um, it, when it, um, uh, the verse part of the song, Dashing Through the Snow, um, he, um, and, and there's a break, there's a piano break, and that, that's kind of a nice thing he does. He, um, again, he starts with the, that G13 voicing, a rootless G13 in the left hand. Um, the seven, uh, the third, or the ten, and the thirteen. Then he goes. So 
fourth chest. And uh, so, and then it goes to the C9 voicing, E, B flat, D. Let's uh, let's look at another another tune that um, yeah, it's fun to play uh, in, in a jazzy style, and that's um, Santa Claus is coming to town, right? And normally it goes. I'm going to do, um, and we're going to, uh, my, my band, the After, After Hours band, we're going to do this um, as, a, as a jazz waltz. And um, the arrangement that we're using, um, it goes, it starts. Uh, so it's just C major 7 to an F um, 13. Yeah, there we go uh, from the C major chord to a G minor to a C dominant to the F chord to an F minor and you can put it over a B flat. Same thing. It's a G minor seven, C seven. There's there's a B B flat nine chord. And here it's it's a um, typically it goes um, it, it, it's a, a, a three six two five right so E E minor A, a dominant D minor G dominant that, that's your classic um, way to get back to the root but and there's there's different things you can do with that you can go uh, instead of the E minor you can do a B flat which is the tritone of E right. So tritone substitution, you go to a B flat dominant. Um, and then instead of the D, you can go to the tritone of D, which is A flat. A flat dominant. To the G, G, G dominant. C, um, so it's it's like a G minor seven over C to to a, just a C dominant. This is uh, basically an F major nine, D seven flat nine. So again, pedaling a C. And up, up a whole step, so A minor over D. Seven, E seven flat nine. Again, all that over pedal D. Oh, I went back. <laughs> I went. I went back to four four timers. jazz walls just just for something different okay that's that one next let's look at winter wonderland um, I've done an E flat I've done a key of E flat key of F um, which I think are fairly common keys for that that's E flat but um, we're gonna do it in C key of C and we're gonna do it as a um, Gonna give it a bossa nova treatment. So, uh, <laughs> so 
notes. That's just a C major nine to a, a, D, a D minor nine um, and keeping the G on top. So the melody starts. Now here we're gonna go to an F sharp minor seven flat five. To a B seven, E minor seven. A7 flat 9 flat 13. Flat thir <laughs> A7 flat 9 flat 13. D minor 9. G7 flat 9. So the bridge goes uh, E major 7, F sharp minor 7, G sharp minor 7, back to F sharp minor 7, E major, A major 9, F sharp minor, then G major 9, A minor 7, B minor 7, and here you go up to, you can go on E, e dominant. To make it sharp like that, uh, I mean a dissonant jazzy chord, you can play the E, <clears throat> E7 sharp 9 again, that flat 13. Basically an A7 with a flat 9, but you don't play the root. Yeah, so instead of that, um, you can do a Instead of doing that, that, that F sharp half diminished sequence, you can do a, a G7, just to an F over G, E minor 7, A7, um, flat 9, flat 13. trick of going dominant in the bridge uh, to jazz it up a little bit so instead of, instead of going the E major uh, 9 to the F sharp minor instead of that sequence we just went dominant E, e dominant to an A, A7 G, G dominant C dominant Seven sharp nine. A thirteen. And there's a D flat or C sharp. Seven with a sharp nine.
Yeah, I mean, um, that or the, uh, the F sharp half diminished sequence. They're both nice. You, you, can, you can do both, break it up. And okay, that's Winter on Wonderland and moving on. Thank you.